why the A321 XLR will change the way we fly in two years. Since the announcement of the A321 XLR in 2019, the jet has been the topic of hot discussion. The plane marks the longest range on a single-aisle aircraft ever, opening up new routes and boosting efficiency. However, the plane could have a noticeable impact on the market once it takes to the skies in 2023. Let's understand why. For years, airlines have been looking for a plane that fills the middle of the market, the space between narrow-body and wide-body aircraft. This plane would ideally seat 220 to 260 passengers, fly nearly 5,000 nautical miles and be highly fuel-efficient. Boeing was the first to consider such a plane, but then opted to re-engineer the 737 instead, which resulted in the infamous 737 MAX. However, it was Airbus which created the first offering and pulled the rug out from under Boeing's plans. The A321 XLR can fly 4,700 nautical miles and seat anywhere between 175 and 244 passengers, depending on the cabin configuration. The plane is also marketed as being nearly 15 to 20% more efficient than the A320neo. With such features, the A321 XLR clearly checks all the boxes for a middle market jet and does all this in a narrow body rather than a wide twin aisle jet. To better understand the A321 XLR's groundbreaking range, we can look at a number of prospective routes it could fly. The plane will be able to connect South Asia with Europe, the Middle East with Africa, and more. This will also allow for routes from smaller cities to major hubs. Airbus offers a handy tool on its website to see prospective routes from any city in the world. Most importantly, the A321 XLR will be able to fly all these routes with a single-aisle, highly efficient jet. This could open a new frontier for low-cost travel and connect continents which historically needed larger jets to cover the distance. Low-cost airlines have also been some of the biggest buyers of the plane, with Indigo, Cebu Pacific, Frontier and more ordering the jet soon after launch. The A321 XLR could also be deployed on high-frequency profitable routes such as New York to London, Toronto to Vancouver, Sydney to Singapore and many more. This could be a potential threat to the legacy carriers operating these routes, such as United, which has opted to order the plane too. The next two years could definitely see more competition in the market, along with drastically lower fares on popular routes. While the A321 XLR looks like a great deal for airlines, what will it mean for passengers? For anyone who's been in the back of an A320, you can attest it's not the most comfortable experience, even in a full-service carrier. Spending up to eight hours in the main cabin of this type definitely does not sound exciting. To solve this concern, Airbus is offering a number of new features on this plane. The A321 XLR will feature mood lighting, new side walls, new window bezels and 40% larger overhead bins. These features will make for a more comfortable journey, although seats and amenities will be in the hands of individual airlines. However, the aircraft will likely be a lot more comfortable on longer flights than the current generation of A320s. With the industry currently struggling, airlines are looking to retire their larger, less efficient planes as soon as possible. This will open up the demand for efficient, long-range jets in the future as the industry recovers from its current shock. At this time, we'll see planes such as the A321 XLR enter and change the way we fly for years to come. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.